Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 10th through to the 14th of January 2015. The significant coronal hole formation will become geo effective in the coming days and with it a foreshadowing potential for a 6.8 magnitude earthquake for the northern hemisphere during this watch. It's been seismically quiet over the last few weeks with only four earthquakes registered over six magnitude, the largest being registered to 6.4 south of Panama yesterday. Now I'm expecting a significant uptick in volcanic and also seismic activity during this watch period from January 10 through 14, which could see one or more earthquakes registered nearer to seven magnitude during this time frame. A large significant coronal hole formation with positive polarity has rotated the eastern limb a week ago and represents a potential for a significant earthquake during this watch period. And this coronal hole formation will become geoeffective, numbered CH649. This region should be geoeffective and should produce significant earthquake risks around mid to high latitudes in the northern hemisphere. This large dynamic coronal hole formation is currently in an earth facing position. Now over the next few days we should see a high speed solar wind stream exiting this coronal hole formation buffet the Earth's magnetic field. Now due to the proximity of this coronal hole formation on the solar corona, we should see a slight rise in solar wind speeds from January 10 through January 11. And this should signal potential for strong earthquakes felt here on the Earth immediately after this time frame from January 11 onwards. With further analysis, there are three node points within this coronal hole formation that will be a focus for this watch, with key emphasis being positioned 20 to 26 degrees north latitude on the solar corona or central node point. This will be the main focus for this watch. A significant event took place back on December 31st, 2014, where a fairly powerful eruption took place on the solar corona and disturbance. Now the interesting aspect is this took place on the solar corona from 22 to 26 degrees north latitude, which is coincidentally the areas of focus during this watch period. And on the 4th of January, an M1.3 solar flare was registered from active region 12253. Now this eruption took place while in an earth facing position and the resulting coronal mass ejection impacted the earth's magnetic field two days later where a G3 class geomagnetic storm resulted. The magnetic field lines on the solar corona are considerably weak especially in the northern hemisphere. This could be indicative of a shallow and also an ocean based earthquake during this time frame. Now the key emphasis of this coronal hole formation does have a hypersymmetry with the ring of fire and this watch will be focusing on the periphery of this large coronal hole formation or the edge, specifically targeting the western edge or the rear flank, which will be mapped symmetrically to the Earth in the Philippine Plate region. Now mapping this large coronal hole formation to the Earth with solar symmetry, with key emphasis being if a land based event, the area of focus will be in the Myanmar region or adjacent in Yunnan, China. These will be the main areas of focus for this potential 6.8 magnitude earthquake. The Philippine Plate will be the second area of concern for this watch period, specifically isolating the southwestern Ryukyu Islands, Japan region, or further south in the Taiwan region. Across the Pacific, the third area of concern will be the Gulf of California. And the final area of concern for this potential 6.8 magnitude earthquake from 20 to 26 degrees north latitude will be the Volcano Islands, Japan region, just on the eastern side of the Philippine Plate. We now look at the important celestial interactions that will be taking place during this watch. We have a near alignment between Venus, Mercury and the Earth and this won't quite be in alignment but fairly close nevertheless. This occurs on the 12th of January. We also have Venus, Neptune and Sun in alignment during this time frame as well. We're now looking at the anomalies that have been registered over the last 36 hours. Significant spikes have been registered in the pulsation PC3 index across the Australian region. Now these are significant spikes which are indicative of a strong earthquake registered over 6.5 magnitude. And that concludes this volcano and earthquake watch for January 10 through 14, 2015. Again, more information can be found at solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers as well as a website newsletter. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.